And Channel 9 presenter Erin Mullen is angry and she's not going to take it anymore. The popular sports presenter appeared on last night's 60 Minutes in a story about trolls and social media and she didn't hold back. You're not big, you're not tough. You're scum of the earth. You genuinely want people locked up? Absolutely I do. This is about every single Australian because this impacts every single Australian. The time to ignore trolls is over. The time to prosecute trolls is here. Now you go to any of the rugby league sites online and believe you me, I don't go to them anymore. <laughs> but every single one was either that I was a woman, that I was ugly, that I looked like a slut, that I'd never played the game, that I belong in the kitchen. Different footballers that I've had dalliances with about bosses at Channel 9 that I must have slept with. It's just vile. Well, Mullen is continuing her fight and she's already met with the Prime Minister and the Communications Minister who promised change is coming. She also wants to see a public education campaign rolled out nationally. Robbo, some powerful words from Erin there. Um, I've got to say, I think everyone on social media should have to use their real name. I think if you want to put these vile and toxic comments to people, and I've copped a few over the years, put your name on them. Own up, own it. If you want to, if you want to attack people, you do it under your name and not some private account. Oh, absolutely. Like, I, I'm not very good at standing up to bullies or anything like that. But I always feel kind of a sense of being above someone who doesn't have a profile picture and doesn't have their real name. And I just think, Ugh, and I don't, I don't uh, engage. And I, I it, you know, I often say, well, I'm not engaging with you because you don't have your real name or your photo. These people are absolutely gutless. And I believe that there should be more um, resources put into from a legal point, from a judicial point to to investigate these people because you couldn't say what these people say to other people in public, you know, in the workplace. You couldn't do it. Some mm. of these awful things that people say. So, yeah, they should start to be held accountable. The, these keyboard warriors, if you believe so much in what you're saying, if you believe so much that that person's wrong or this person shouldn't do that, own it. Own it. Don't, because clearly you're a piece of shit if you do it behind <laughs> a fake name. And I'm serious, if you do it behind a fake name and no profile, you are a piece of shit. And just don't say it because you don't help the argument. You don't, pr pr you know, propel any kind of discourse that could work out to be something different. You don't do any of that. You're... Yeah, I've already said that word yes, twice, you have, so multiple I won't times. say it again. Ben, um, I, I, <laughs> makes when me angry. We, when, when, when I was copying a lot of backlash over our Pete Evans interview, a lady on Twitter um, who didn't use her name was attacking me, and I said, look, I'm happy to have the discussion with you, but you're attacking me. You know who I am. I don't know who you are, and yeah, yeah. I, I'm not going to engage with that. And she said... Well, you can't expect that. I'm allowed to have an opinion just because I don't use my real name. I'm a woman. If I use my real name, I'll get attacked. And I took a moment oh, and thought, me. yeah, look, I, I, I do understand that that could be a valid argument. But at the end of the day, we all have to take responsibility for our opinions, good, bad and ugly. We get, The three of us give opinions here each and every day. Anyone could take one of our opinions and make a big issue of it because opinions are not based in fact, they're based on how we feel. And we need to take responsibility for that. And we learn and we grow and opinions change. But these people who attack us on social media also need to take, um, uh, they need to take responsibility for what they're saying, surely. Yeah, look, I think that there's some valid things in what you guys are saying, but look, maybe it's because I've been through this and it was a while ago now, so, you know, 2012 is a long time, but, uh, you know, a News Limited article had me ranked in the top 10 most trolled people in the country. I think I came in at number two. I might have come in at number three, I'm not sure, but Charlotte Dawson was number one. No, I became quick her. friends with... Yeah, well, I became quick friends with Charlotte. She got in contact with my partner and I and, we, I, you know... I flew, she flew me to Sydney and we hung out and she was able to really share her story. You know, the one thing I must admit that I learnt from that experience once Charlotte Dawson, you know, uh, due to mental health reasons um, and probably due to a percentage well, of that we're being that she was trolled. About it, we have to say it, for those who don't know, and I'm sure everyone did, does, Charlotte Dawson took her own life and as a result, many believe, of the uh, trolling she was getting on social media. Sorry, Ben, go on. Look, I think that, you know, 
I don't think I've really spoken about this before, and I think that there's some truth in this. You know, Charlotte was in a bad way already. Sure. And I don't think that she... Uh, you can't say that it was the trolling exactly. And the one thing I, I felt difficult about at the time, losing a friend like that, was I had pleaded with her to stop reading these... We are living in a time where people feel like it's their right to have an opinion. Uh, I can see that there's some value, Rob, in you wanting people to be accountable and have their face there and have their name there. You know, I think there's going to be a long time before we get to that point, but we do need to look within ourselves and recognise an opinion is someone else's an opinion and we need to just understand who we are. We need to have some faith in who we are and distance Mate, ourselves no from something that is something that is just really negative. Yeah, but Rob, I think that, you know, it was interesting watching the two of you uh, talk about that Pete Evans situation. And, you know, I watched the tweets coming through. They weren't thousands of tweets. They were people with a very strong opinion about Pete Evans. And I could see that the two of you struggled with it. I didn't struggle with it as I much. I actually listened to a lot. I just responded to them because I, I will take them on and I answered every one. But when I'm getting people saying they hope I get waterboarded and hope I get taken out, they'd watch that. I think there's uh, a level gross, of nastiness yeah. that if, if their friends and family of the person who wrote that knew what they were writing on social media, do you think their friends and family and their work colleagues and their bosses would actually accept that kind of commentary? You want, to, you want to threaten physical violence against me? You want to see me dead? Well, then take responsibility for it. If you're prepared to say that in the middle of your workplace, well, then good on you. If you're prepared to put it up on a billboard, good on you. But if you're not, well, then you don't deserve the time of day because you are not someone who believes in the things you say. Because if you do, exactly. you will wear it as a badge of pride and say it properly. Yeah, I know, but accountability exactly. is a really tough thing, you know. It no, is it's really not. hard because I don't no, necessarily think you are going to gonna get... You should be accountable for what you're saying. How is accountability a hard thing? If you people had said to Erin Molan that they want to rape her two year old daughter and that they would kill her newborn, uh, I don't. There should be no. How is accountability accountability hard there? They should be held accountable for that kind of vile attack. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Right at that level, I understand it. Right at that level, when you hear those sorts of things, there's a line that needs to be crossed. But what I'm talking about is the difficulty of qualifying what is bullying and what isn't. I'm and not talking then about which bullying tweets there. are opinions based not even and which about ones bullying. are. I'm talking about taking responsibility for the words you put on social media. I don't, I'm not even saying it's bullying. I'm just saying opinions. I mean that everybody should be forced to put their yeah. name on their social media accounts and take responsibility for the things that mm -hmm. they believe with, believe in and then the things that they want to attack other people over and then yep. the things that they want to threaten other people over and then the vile things we get with Erin Mullins. Nice. Don't forget, Beyond Blues there, one three hundred two two four six three six. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Show.